looking at looks. In this video I'm going to show you how they're actually created and what goes into making up a look. And it sounds as if it's going to be a lot, but it's not actually. It's just when you decide to put a look onto something, it's good to know exactly what you're adding to it. If it's just a quick fix you're wanting and you want to use, I really like this look and I'm putting it onto this image, that's what you go ahead and do. But from this, if you want to see what's went into making that look, that's one that you've already purchased or one that you've downloaded, it's worth going in to see. And during the video, I'll show you how to do it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, that's us in Luminar now. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do a quick edit on this image here, which is at Loch Tula. And I'm just going to show you how to bring out the details and everything. And then we're going to look at the looks. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enhance the snow that you can see, the snow that was falling here. So I'm going to go into AI Accent and push that and you'll see that change. Then I'm going to enhance the sky. From here, I'm going to get into AI Structure and I'm going to push the structure just to enhance the details in this snow. Although this is a global edit, I am really focusing on the snow for this, just to show you this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the Details Enhancer and just push the small details. So yet again, that will bring up the snow. Again, it's a global edit, no masks being used here, just looking at this overall. Right, for the looks, what we're looking to do is I'm going to show you how to break down a look and then save it. So I'm going to use, as you can see along here, I have Dramatic already selected from the Luminar Looks collections and you can get more looks and download the packs here as well. And you'll have your own user Luminar Looks if you've created some of your own. For this image though, I'm going to use the Dramatic. And what I'm going to use is this one here, which is Mystic, which will change the overall feel of this. But we're going to show you how the looks break down. Just if, the, if you're new to Luminar, this will show you how the looks are created and how they work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. This is so that my look is separate from my image. So I'm working with layers. If I don't like it, I can delete it. And I'm going to choose Mystic. And you can see already how that's changed the entire image. Uh, if I turn that on and off, so you see there's the what we brought in, or what we just edited, and now we have this. And the snow is there, but what we also have, we also have the adjustments amount, which means I can pull that back so that the effect isn't as big. So I'm going to leave it at 100% at the moment just to show you how the Mystic look was made up. You'll notice that Essentials is highlighted, Creative is highlighted, and also Portrait is highlighted. So this, with these being highlighted, Pro is not, as you see, with these being highlighted, it shows you the elements that are made, that are being used to make up the look. So if I get into Essentials, Colour is highlighted in white, Vignette is highlighted. And if I choose Colour, you can see the Saturation, has been turned down to minus 45 and minus 13. I'll go into the advanced settings in case there's something else going on there. And I'll just cycle through these. Nothing else has changed. So, for this look, colour has been used. A vignette, as you can see, minus 55. I'm not going to use the choose subject here, I'll close the vignette. I'm now going to go into creative and only the glow is highlighted. And that tells us that 70% glow has been added to this look. From there, as you saw, portrait, only the Orton effect. And so we have type 1 Orton, you have type 1 and type 2 Orton. So type 1 Orton has been pushed to 62. I'm going to turn that off just to show you something. So if I pull the Orton down, you can see what happens there, right? And for me, if I was to edit this, I could go in and I'm just going to randomly do this just to show you the image. So there's the Orton effect. I'll go back into Creative. I'll turn the glow down to 57. And I'll go back into 
colour and vignette but I can add to this look as well. I can go in and add AI accent, I can actually add any of these whatsoever. Anything within the panel, I can within the tools, I can go in and adjust. The sky enhancer I could go in and do again but I'm not going to. I'm going to use the AI structure as well. And then last but not least for this, I'm going to go in to smart contrast and I'm going to add a tiny, a touch of smart contrast to this. So there we go, I'm going to leave it at that, but just to show you, there's the before, the image we had, and there's the after. And you can notice here, as I was mainly focusing on the snowfall here, you can see what it's done to it. So if I'm quite happy with that, and I like that look, what I can do is I can save my adjustments from this as a new look. And I'll just call this one for this example, Walk Tour. And click Save. So I now have Walk Tour in amongst my user luminar looks. And you've seen in previous videos some of the other looks that I've created within this. Hopefully that gave you a small insight into how looks are actually created. This video is intended for people that are new to luminar and that are looking at the looks looking at what, looking at the creation of images and what goes into creating a look for an image. The looks can be downloaded from the Skyon website. Some looks are free, some you purchase. And it is worth going in and just the looks that you really like but you want to tweak, you can go in and just look and see what's went into creating them. So that you then, once you have the confidence to create your own, and not that it takes a lot because the software is so intuitive that you can create them in a matter of minutes. Uh, but the video was just to look at a breakdown of them and what, as I said, goes into creating them. And it's worth going in and just going through all the looks because there may be parts of a certain look that you like and you think, I want that, but I want to merge it with another look. So you can go in and break them down, write down the variables, and then go in and create a brand new look based on ones that you like and that you are inspired by. So hopefully that made sense for you and you go ahead and create your own looks. If you've enjoyed this video, big thumbs up. If you'd like to check out some more videos below and consider subscribing, that would be great. Thanks again for watching.